Jazz had been born in New Orleans and brought up in Chicago and New York. But by the mid-1920s, it was being played in dance halls and speakeasies everywhere. The blues, which had once been the product of itinerant black musicians, the poorest of the southern poor, had now fused with jazz and become an industry. With black record labels, as well as white ones, competing for the listener's dollar. Dancing consumed a country confident that the unprecedented prosperity of the Roaring Twenties would never end. More than 100 dance bands regularly crisscrossed the wide open spaces between St. Louis and Denver, Texas and Nebraska, playing one-nighters. They were called territory bands. Records and then radio brought jazz to locations so remote that no band could reach them. Jazz continued to change. An exuberant collective music now came to place more and more emphasis on the innovations of supremely gifted individuals. For the first time, improvising soloists and singers struggling to find their own voices and to tell their own stories would take center stage. <laughs> 